Hi guys! So welcome to Tons and Speed again. So I finally got my first racing chair. Yes, I got my first racing chair, but it's not exactly the kind of chair that you would think. Um, actually, this is actually my uh, my first gaming chair. Okay, uh, the reason why I buy this chair is because uh, currently my house I'm still using the wooden IKEA chair. Then now with the uh, for Clang Valley, we are entering the CMCO again, so there's a very high chance that uh, either myself or my wife we need to work from home. So working from home and um, using the wooden chair sitting for long hours definitely is not comfortable. So that's why I'm um, in the previous uh, after the previous MCO, both myself and my wife we were thinking about buying a chair, but uh, instead of get, getting a normal office chair, we thought we mm, uh, you know. Uh, actually small to me lah, but I wanted to get something like a gaming chair so I went around look around and see you know what is the best uh, chair that I should buy so after searching high and low um, considering all factors that I want something that is uh, not overly expensive I mean if you look at like uh, what secret lamp those are really expensive I uh, can't afford that yet so uh, and then also not to get to something that is really low uh, what you call that? Of a very low quality, I'm worried that uh, you know you pay a couple hundred bucks and you get something that's not very great in terms of quality. So we went for somewhere in maybe slightly above the entry level. Yeah, so I went ahead and got this. Hello, yes, this is actually what I've gotten the TT Racing uh, gaming chair. Yeah, so this is the model is actually the Swift X. Uh, 2020 maybe 2020 is for this year huh? anyhow I got the grey color one which is I feel is not too striking at the same time has a little bit of color tone to it so the reason why I chose this model and I got this actually for 571 ringgit with a six month installment so it's not that bad every month is less than 100 ringgit yeah for something I hope is comfortable and the reason why I chose this is because of purely because of the height on the back seat so I saw review on the slightly cheaper version of the uh, chair from TT Racing which is actually the uh, I think Duo V3 So the back uh, backrest is a little bit shorter and for people of my height I prefer something that can I can fully rest my head on that's why I went on to get this Swift X So let's open it up and see and hopefully this really suits to my body height Okay so let's have a look what's inside <laughs> okay, let's get down to business. So let's open it up first. I haven't bought such a big item in a long, long time. So if you ask me whether I'm excited about this, yeah, I am pretty excited about this. The packaging that I got from the seller is pretty nice. Um, all good, no dented. I did see some online ones, they did mention that um, it's a little bit dented here and there, but mine arrived in perfect condition. Alright, looks pretty neat in terms of the packaging. That's the view, I mean that's the base for the chair itself. Some pretty heavy duty uh, plastic here, really solid. And I saw this online as well actually, a lot of rib bracing. So I believe all this is for, uh, to withstand a lot of weight. Yeah, it'd be good for someone like my size and my weight okay oh okay and here's some great accent as well nice feeling especially uh, if I'm not wearing shoes this should be quite nice yeah and let's see what other things here oh this is heavy this should be the base of the seat itself where you adjust the uh, the spring uh, I think the air spring mechanism yeah There, the seat itself, the backrest. Okay, let's see if I can take it out one handed. Yeah, so it has a bit like a bucket seat kind of uh, support, especially if you sit at long hours. If you have tried those on the office seats without the side support, I think it will be not that comfortable. So I hope this is nice. I always find the chair that supports my, my side uh, much nicer to sit in, especially for 
long hours. Let's put that aside first. And uh, ew, what's this? Ah, a congratulatory kind of message. What does it mean? Okay, you are the new owner of the TT Racing Swift X 2020. Flip to the back to get started. Thank you for your support. All right, awesome. So this must be the base of the seat. Okay, so. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk too much now. I'm already sweating pretty badly. So let's get started with the installation of the new uh, TT Racing Swift X chair that I just got. Ta-da! I did it. Okay. <sighs> so it took me about half an hour to assemble this whole thing from starting to finish. Uh, is it difficult to assemble? Mm, I would say moderate. Okay, if you are not, if you cannot understand the menu well, okay, then uh, maybe, maybe a bit difficult. But overall. Yeah, that's my daughter's gaming chair by the way so but overall um not that hard to install and uh just make sure that uh, you want to do it uh, how, how how to say before you secure all the bolts make sure you check the position first uh example the armrest especially before you lock them down you want to make sure that they are the right width for you because it's actually meant to uh, you can actually select how how far you want to go out yeah so I try this, this is my setting, I prefer this and uh, the rest of them is pretty much the bolts are already there, location is already there so it's really down to you to figure out which bolt goes to where and all that and then after that, uh, after that I mean pretty much the rest is well, speak for itself so um, what do I think of the chair? looks alright from far but of course uh, nearer when you come and see there may be some imperfection like here but that's just a little bit so it doesn't really bother me and here a little bit as well okay uh, maybe my only gripe is more towards these kind of parts uh, plastic parts you know so probably can't, can't close the gap here and this may be a bit sharp I might have to trim a little bit of this off yeah here a little bit uh, installing this metal brace here before the cover comes on that can be a bit tricky but um, trick is not to Put on one side too tightly because when I put my side, my my two metal braces, the other side is actually a little bit out, so it's kind of hard to push it in and then you you bolt it on. So I took a bit longer over there, but um, yeah, you just gotta bolt on a little bit first. Once it goes in, then you turn to the other side, bolt in this side. Then after that, only you tighten bit by bit, left, then right, right, then left, something like that. Okay, um, on the wheel side. Yeah, it's pretty straightforward, just push it in and all that, so yeah, all in all, I think it's pretty straightforward, okay, um, yeah, here's the TT Racing, Swift X. Okay, so do my video on this chair later. Oh, did I mention the seat actually comes with uh, this uh, lumbar, not lumbar, I don't know what is this, maybe your back, uh, back rest, okay? And also the next support, so yeah. Let's get this off. No idea how to attach them, but you know. Oops, got stuck. Okay. Yeah. Anyhow. And then this is the for the headrest and it's up okay like a little pillow and well, I suppose you can change the cover too if they put it like that so this goes here I suppose I'm gonna try it later and feedback to you guys 
how is the new chair so to just to show you guys what's behind this it's kind of like an instruction manual here to show you what's inside the packaging uh, and i believe as well as uh, what other things here and there all right right so after assembly the assembling the chair how do i feel about the chair it's pretty good um my first expectation i thought it would be hotter because it's a leather and we're you know hot weather in malaysia but yeah it's better than my expectation and uh, it fits my table pretty well of course um uh, yeah actually I, I mean so what's my first uh, impression of the chair after assembly um pretty good i would have to say um i was expecting to be hot because it's made of the pu leather actually basically there's fake leather lah, huh? okay but i was expecting it to be hotter uh, seeing we are in a hot weather in malaysia but it's not that hot actually it's pretty good and uh, you know when I first saw the uh, the photo of the chair and I thought all oh, these pillows oh my goodness this thing just spoiled my video okay so what's the first impression after setting up the chair and now sitting in it pretty good I have to say uh, my first impression actually is that it should be rather hot because it's actually leather or fake leather peel leather they call it yeah um, but no, it's better than my expectation. Uh, it's not that hot. You know, that's a big concern for me because um, after all, we're in hot weather country, right? And the second thing is that um, in the pictures I saw, all these pillows, I always thought it's kind of like, uh, how nice can it be, right? It, I thought it would feel like an Asia kind of uh, uh, seat, making it like, you know, pushing my head forward like that. But no, surprisingly, this and as well as the lower back uh, pillow, it is surprisingly uh, supportive you know you can sit at a very good angle and uh, it feels good yeah and of course the best part is that it is reclinable uh, so when you want to rest you can you can rest right although um, the chair can recline to a rather uh, almost flat kind of angle I don't dare to lie down on that because I was I was so worried that it would actually tip over, so I didn't try that. But uh, for those of you who have lighter weight than mine, I'm actually about 83 to 85, I think. Yeah, if you're lighter than me, I think you should be fine. For me, I don't feel very safe. Yeah, so if you ask me overall, is it a worthy buy uh, for 500 plus? Yes, probably, because uh, if you need to be at home working from home and you don't have a comfortable computer chair, um, this could be something that is worth buying, yeah. If you want to have a gaming chair uh, or a racing chair, right? But uh, how does this compare to your normal office chair? You can probably get some uh, pretty good office chair at a lower price, maybe to 200 300 bucks is a pretty good one already. Now, the only difference I feel is that um, your office chair they give you something like a normal chair here, they have uh, extra padding on the side to support. Uh, you know your bum on the chair so it pushes you in and sit you in the middle here quite comfortable uh, whereas for office chair a lot of time the the seats are actually just slightly curved upwards and then it's actually round shape at the side those I feel rather not nice lah, huh? and um, yeah so I think basically for me that's my general opinion of the chair how long it will last we will have to wait and see so um, maybe six months down the road under you know sitting on it every day how, how does it uh, feel um, yeah so I think that's about it for me so thank you for watching guys so hopefully the next time I'll get a proper racing seat for my next car not my current car okay and uh, thank you for coming here to watch this video keep supporting tons and speed and we'll come up with more videos for you guys all right thank you very much and see you next round in my next video Thank you.